Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Neeti Goyal, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Indira Gandhi National College, Ladwa, District Kurukshetra. Today we are going to discuss models of international human resource management. After completing this module, the students will be able to know the concept of hard HRM, concept of soft HRM, various IHRM models. An HR model describes the HRM concepts. It describes the HR objectives, capabilities, processes and standards. It bridges the gap between the HR strategy and the organizational structure and processes and the skills and competencies of human resource employees. The model helps HR function run smoothly. It also orients the employees about the HR processes. The employees are sure about their goals and the main drivers for their success in HR. The HR model thus designs the clear principle and setting of the HR roles and responsibilities and assignment of the different HR projects into different units in HR. It is not easy to define a model, but it saves many conflicts in the future. And the HR model helps to build a stronger and more competitive HR function in the organization. Human resource management has frequently been described as a concept with two district. Human resource management has been frequently described as a concept with two distinct forms, soft and hard. A good number of models have been designed for human resource management. All these models fall under two categories, hard human resource management and soft human resource management. Hard human resource management lacks humanistic approach and has a sharp focus on financial outcomes. It does not focus on the needs of employees. Employees are considered as any other factor of production and are primarily viewed as cost to the company. Under this approach, business strategy is established and resources are allocated to achieve them with employees as one of the means. Under hard approach, focus of HRM is to identify the workforce requirement of the organization and they are recruited and managed accordingly. There is one way communication which flows from top to down, not the other way round. Employees are not empowered and there is little delegation. This model assumes that there are no differences of viewpoints between managers and employees. They are similar. The appraisal systems also focus on making judgments about staff. Hard HRM suits the autocratic leadership style. It is a humanistic approach to HRM. Under soft approach, under soft approach, employees are considered as the most important resource in the business and a source of competitive advantage. Employees are treated as individuals and their needs are planned accordingly. This approach concentrate on the needs of employees and pay proper focus on their motivation and development. Employees are assumed to be self-directed and committed. Unlike hard approach, there is strong and regular two-way communication. Pay structure is competitive and rewards are pay structure is competitive and rewards are based on performance. Delegation of authority is here and also there is focus on training and other development of core employees. HRM models. The various HRM models are the Harvard model, the Warwick model, contextual model, the 5 P's model, the Michigan or the matching model, the guest model, model by John Storey, European model, U.S. model of HRM. The Harvard model. The Harvard model was postulated by Beer et al. at Harvard University. 
This model is also called as the map of HRM territory. It is a soft model of HRM. It stresses the human aspect of HRM and is more concerned with the employer-employee relationships. This model has five components. These are stakeholders interests, situational factors, HRM policy choices, HRM outcomes and long-term consequences. According to Harvard model, there are various stakeholders in the organization that is shareholders, management, employees, government and the community and unions having different interests. This model relates the stakeholders interest to the organizational outcomes of the individual and societal well-being. Employees are also one of the stakeholders and like any other stakeholders are equally important in influencing the objectives of management. It also takes into account the influence of situational factors like workforce characteristics, business strategy, labor market etc. on HRM policy choices. The various components of Harvard model have been presented in this figure. The various components are stakeholder interests, situational factors, HRM policy choices, HR outcomes and long-term consequences. There are four HRM policy choice areas namely human resource flows, reward systems, employee influence and work systems. Human resource flows refers to the activities relating to the inflow, internal flow and outflow of the human resources from the organization such as recruitment, selection, training, promotion, retirement or termination. Reward systems are the systems designed to motivate the employees. These may be pay systems, incentives, etc. Employee influence incorporates the levels of authority delegated and the associated responsibility. Each of the four policy areas contain series of tasks which managers must perform. Commitment, competence, congruence and cost effectiveness are the outcomes that these four HR policies need to achieve which will lead to individual and societal well-being. Increased productivity, organizational effectiveness which will again influence shareholder interests and situational factors hence making it a vicious circle, the Warwick model. This model was developed at University of Warwick by two researchers Henry and Pettigrew and has been named as Warwick model. Warwick model has been developed from Harvard model and is analytical approach to HRM. It explains how strategy is made in complex organizations and how it transforms HRM policies. Warwick model centers around five elements. The outer context which includes macroeconomic forces such as socio-economic, political, technical and competitive forces. Inner context or the micro-environmental forces. These are culture, structure, leadership, task technology and business outputs. These factors are firm specific. Business strategy content which include objectives, product market and strategy. HRM context which are role, definition, organization and human resource outputs. HRM content which incorporates human resource flows, work systems, reward systems and employee relations. The Warwick model has been presented by the figure which includes all the five components business strategy content, outer content, inner content, HRM content and HRM context. All these are related to each other. According to this model, 
HRM content is composed of business strategy and HR practices, the internal and the external environment in which these activities take place and is also composed of the processes by which such changes take place and the interactions between them. It explores how HRM adapts to changes in the external and internal environmental factors. The organizations which can successfully achieve the balance between the internal and external environmental factors will achieve performance and growth. Contextual model of HRM. The contextual model of HRM emphasizes the importance of environmental factors such as social, institutional and political forces that have been underestimated in other models. The environmental factors differ from country to country and even from province to province within a country. The contextual approach integrates the human resource management with the environment in which it operates. The contextual classification of variables given by Shapiro et al. is as follows. Context of time and space which includes historical, geographical and personal space. Social, technical, economic and political context. Cultural context which include behavior, values, beliefs and assumptions. Psychological context, philosophical context, context of communication and sensory context. The proponents of contextual model of HRM believe different proportions of the contextual variables design a specific context model of HRM. A model applicable to one context cannot be applied to another. The 5 P's model. 5 P's model of human resource management was developed by Dr. Mildred Golden Pryor, J. Chris White and Dr. Leslie A. Toombs. It is a strategic human resource management model. Purpose, principles, processes, peoples and performance are 5 P's. According to 5 P's model, performance of organization is based on performance of people which are influenced by purpose, principles and processes. Purpose refers to the organization's vision, mission and objectives. Principles are the action guidelines for achieving the purpose. These define how activities are carried out. Processes. Processes are organizational structures, systems and procedures to achieve objectives. People. People are human resources engaged in carrying out various activities in line with principles and processes. Performance. Performance is the outcome measured against standards. Organizations have to align and balance all the five P's in order to achieve higher level performances. The Michigan or matching model. Matching model was proposed by Fombrun, Tichy and Devanna in 1984 at the Michigan Business School. According to this model, HR systems should be designed in such a way that they match organizational strategy. This is a hard model of HRM. It says that human resources which are available must be matched with jobs in the organization. According to this model, human resources are just like any other factor of production and should be utilized fully as other factors to achieve organizational objectives. The quantity of human resources required should be calculated so as to achieve the objectives enshrined in the business strategy. Evans and Lorange in 1989 argue that the Michigan model is based on the product market logic. 
according to which in order to gain high profits labor must be cheaply obtained used economically developed and exploited fully the matching model is mainly based on chandler's argument that structure of an organization is an outcome of its strategy fombrun et al expanded this argument in their model of strategic human resource management which emphasizes that there should be a tight fit between organizational strategy organizational structure and human resource management system the point of departure in the michigan model is the preeminence and predominance of a business strategy which must strictly be achieved by the available resources regardless of whether they are able to do so or not both organization structure and human resource management are dependent on the organization strategy the matching model aims at developing an appropriate human resource system that will describe those hrn strategies that contribute to the more that contribute to the most efficient implementation of business strategies in fact the business strategy must be achieved through minimum labor costs enhanced by structural reorganization performance related pay and staff reduction the matching model of hrm has been criticized for a number of reasons it is thought to be too prescriptive by nature mainly because its assumptions are strongly unitarist as the model emphasizes a tight fit between organizational strategy and hr strategies it completely ignores the interests of employees and hence considers human resource management as a passive reactive and implementationist function the matching model of hrm has been presented in the figure as we can see the boundaries of the business within which business strategy organizational structure and hr strategy are all involved and the outer forces affecting the business are the economic forces political forces and the cultural forces the guest model the guest model combines both the hard and soft approach to human resource management and claims to be much superior to other models david guest's model of hrm has six dimensions of analysis HRM strategies, HR policies or practices, HR outcomes, behavioral outcomes, performance outcomes, financial outcomes. The guest model has been presented in the figure below which includes HRM strategies which affect the HRM practices of hiring, training, appraisal, compensation and relations. which affects the hr outcomes of commitment quality and flexibility which in turn affect the behavioral outcomes of motivation cooperation organizational and citizenship which in turn affects performance outcomes of positive productivity innovation quality negative low productivity absenteeism and turnover which affects the financial outcomes of profits and return on investment according to guest coherent strategy of hrm policies should be fully integrated into the business strategy and supported by all levels of line management the model recognizes the close links between hr strategy and the general business strategy the policy goals of hrm are high commitment high quality and flexibility This model claims that the HR manager begin with specific HR strategies which require certain HR practices to be executed which result in certain HR outcomes which affect the behavioral performance and financial outcomes in other words the quality of HR strategies determine the quality of the business outcomes if we look inversely at the model it explains that financial results depend on employee performance which depend on employee behaviors 
behavior of employee depend on employee's level of commitment, motivation and flexibility which in turn are influenced by HR practices. HR practices need to be in tune with HR strategies which are aligned to the organizational strategies. Guest's model is similar to the Harvard but has 7 HR policy categories instead of 4. Guest proposes 4 crucial components that lead to organizational effectiveness. These are strategic integration, flexibility, high commitment and quality. Strategic integration, it is an integration of the HRM strategy with the business strategy. It reflects the hard HRM model as it treats human resources like any other resource for achieving organizational objectives. Flexibility. Flexibility reflects both hard and soft side of human resource management. Flexibility is the ability of organization and its human resources to adapt to the changing environment and also to its capacity to manage innovation. As a hard side of HRM, human resources are employed only when their production is required and when their labor is not required, they are discharged from the service. At a softer side of HRM, it emphasizes that employees should be treated as fairly as possible. Flexibility is concerned with how receptive employees are to innovation and change. High commitment. Organizational effectiveness demands high commitment in terms of physical, mental, behavioral commitment of employees towards the organization. Concerned with the employer's goal of binding employees to the organization and obtaining the behavioral outcomes of increased effort, cooperation and organizational citizenship. Quality the quality of HRM activities determine the quality of goods and services that is the output. The table presented here provides the policies for identifying human resource and organizational outcomes. The policy of organizational and job design, it affects the organizational outcome of high job performance. Policy formulation and implementation or management of change. It affects the implementation of human resource outcomes and the organizational outcome of high problem solving. The policy of recruitment, selection and socialization affects commitments among the employees and also it helps in successful change in the organizational. Appraisal, training and development policies affect the flexibility or adaptability of human resources. It leads to low turnover in the organization. Manpower flows through ups and outs of the organization. It affects the organization through low absence. The communication system affects the quality of human resource outcomes and it leads to low grievance level, high cost effectiveness that is the fuller utilization of human resources. Model by John Story John Story emerged to be one of the strongest proponents of human resource management. According to Story, HRM is a holistic approach having interrelated policies with an ideological and philosophical underpinning which makes it much more human approach to employment management. The four aspects of the model are beliefs and assumptions. This model believes human resources as the most important resource and their capabilities and commitment makes an organization different than others. So, they must be greatly valued. It also believed that relationship of an employee with the organization is based on commitment and not on compliance. Strategic qualities. Since the capabilities of human resources provides competitive advantage to the firm, so HRM should be taken care of by top executives. 
HR policies should be formulated keeping in mind competitive business environment, business strategy and HR strategy by the best professionals. Role of line managers or delegation of HRM to line managers. Role of line managers include highlighting certain issues that are too complex for top management to decipher alone, to develop more motivated employees and to establish more effective control, to ensure quick response of local managers to local problems and conditions, to resolve most routine problems at the grassroots level or the basic level, bestowing more time for personal specialists to perform strategic functions, helping to systematically prescribe and monitor the styles of line managers, improving organizational effectiveness, preparing future managers by allowing them to practice decision making skills and assisting in reducing costs by redirecting traditionally central bureaucratic personal functions. Line managers have a very important role to play in personal management. It is clear from the HRM philosophy that people management is too important to be left to operational personal specialists. Fundamentally, line managers can play an invaluable role in the organization by establishing strong link between them and their respective subordinates. Key Levers Culture is the most important factor to be managed in an organization more important than even the procedures and systems. Cultural management brings consensus on overall organizational values, beliefs and assumptions. It also brings flexibility and commitment. European Model of HRM According to European model, human resource management is the responsibility of line managers whereas human resource managers assist and advise the line managers in this process. Human resource management deals with various functions like recruitment, selection, appraisal, training and development, remuneration, etc. But the way these functions are performed varies from country to country and region to region because of cultural variation. Culture influence human resource management practices which in turn affects the organizational culture. Organizational culture in turn influence culture in general making it a vicious circle. Organizational culture in turn influence culture in general, making it a vicious circle. Hence, the human resource managers should take culture of a country or the region into consideration while formulating human resource policies and functions. Geert Hofstede identified four dimensions of culture was power distance, uncertainty avoidance, individualism and masculinity or femininity. Even culture variation is found between various European countries. US model of HRM Management practices in USA are mostly influenced by the findings of F. W. Taylor conducted in USA during 1964. US organizations emphasize on knowledge rather personality factors to perform the job. Few people who possess knowledge are placed at the top level of the organizational hierarchy and rewarded with very high salaries. As such, this cause wide salary differentials among employees at various levels. There is individualistic and achievement oriented culture in US according to Hofstede and therefore trade unions and collective bargaining are not popular in USA. Therefore, the industrial relations are insignificant area of human resource management in US. Employees relation with organizations is more of commercial and short run relationship rather than a social and long run. 
employees in US view performance evaluation negatively due to long power distance. Therefore, strict performance monitoring in US result in employee attrition. Employers in US take enhancement of employee skills and knowledge through training and development negatively as trained employees seek better jobs elsewhere. So, employees invest in enhancement of their own skills and look for jobs elsewhere. Conclusion Various HRM models either fall under the soft or hard approach. Hard approach integrates human resource management into business strategy. The hard approach lacks humanistic approach and pays little attention to the employees. It might result in most cost effective workforce, but business adopting hard approach might expect to suffer from higher absenteeism and higher attrition rates and less successful recruitment. Soft approach is humanistic in nature. It considers humans as the most valuable resource, motivates staff, develops them into core employees. However, these two approaches are somewhat academic in nature. In reality, a midway approach is followed. HR department or manager would be likely to adopt elements of both soft and hard HR. Thank you.